Have you ever found yourself questioning the very foundation of your relationship? What would you do if trust, once unbreakable, suddenly seemed fragile as glass? Imagine, after decades together, uncovering a secret that threatens to unravel everything you believed about love and loyalty. Based on a true story told by Reddit user Adz67, this is a tale of such a betrayal. For over two decades, my wife and I crafted a life together that was the envy of our friends. The dream home, the white picket fence, the kind of partnership that felt like it could weather any storm. Then came the camping trip that I couldn't join, and everything changed. It was supposed to be a simple weekend getaway. My wife, her best friend, and her husband, immersed in nature, unwinding from the pressures of everyday life. They had been drinking, letting loose in a way that only vast open spaces allow. As the night deepened, so did their intoxication, until it was just my wife and him, the other husband, left awake by the dying embers of the campfire. According to my wife, her friend went to sleep early, leaving just her and her girlfriend's husband awake and alone. Then, in a moment of drunken folly, they shared a kiss. A kiss that spiraled into something more, something heated amidst the solitude of the wilderness. She insisted it ended there with a sudden jolt of realization of the line they were about to cross. She pulled away and attempted to mend the rift of betrayal before it widened. But was it too late? Her friend, awakened by noises in the night, caught them in this compromising position. Anger and accusations flew, shattering the stillness. And though my wife swears the incident didn't escalate beyond a kiss, her friend's account suggests otherwise, hinting at a betrayal far deeper, guided by the sounds of a passion that should have been reserved for me. Now I'm left sifting through the debris of trust and fidelity, trying to piece together the truth. The foundation of our two-decade-long marriage feels like it's been pulled from under me, leaving me questioning everything I thought I knew about us. About her, the image of them together haunts me, blurring the lines between doubt and certainty, love and betrayal. This isn't just a story of infidelity or a moment of weakness. It's a reflection on the complexities of marital relationships, the ease with which temptation finds a foothold, and the devastating impact of doubt. How do you rebuild trust when it's been shattered? Can a marriage survive a betrayal, perceived or real? I find myself standing at a crossroads, not just in my marriage, but in my understanding of love and commitment. The path forward is unclear, shrouded in the fog of uncertainty and hurt. I'm reaching out to you, dear viewers, for perspective. How would you navigate this turmoil? Is forgiveness possible, or is some damage too profound to repair? Your insights and experiences could light the way during this dark chapter of my life. Wow, that's quite a story there. We can really sense this man's sense of betrayal and hurt by his wife's moment of yielding to temptation. Before we ask for your responses, let's see the advice some Reddit responders gave to our hurt and betrayed man. Here's one paraphrased from a user that begins, The friend caught on to sounds that make it seem like there was way more going on than just an intense makeout session. Honestly, it really bugs me when people try to brush off their mistakes by saying, Oh, I was just drunk. And then, thinking about the whole situation, it's kinda messed up. It looks like there was zero respect for any boundaries, especially doing something like that while one partner's out of the picture. It's a real bad look for everyone involved, and kinda shakes the foundation of what their friendships and relationships were supposed to be about. It's super sad, not just for you, but for the friend who got double-crossed by her own partner and her buddy. It's like they both knew exactly what they were doing, went through with it anyway, and now here we are. This isn't just about cheating, it's about betraying the trust of people who thought they were close to you. I know a lot of folks roll their eyes at jumping straight to, you should get a divorce. But honestly, in this case, it might be something for both you and the friend to seriously think about. Also, have you thought about whether this was a one-time thing? Like, could there have been something going on between them even before the camping trip? It might be worth digging a bit deeper, maybe have a real talk with the friend to see if there's more to the story. Wow, that sounds pretty clear that this advisor was totally unforgiving for the wife's behavior. And it does seem like the knee-jerk advice, or easy advice, to give to a man who feels betrayed. And it would be understandable if our betrayed husband did, in fact, proceed to get a divorce lawyer. But what if there is more to the story? What if the wife confessed to the husband she betrayed about her cheating and expressed extreme remorse? Should that have any bearing on how our betrayed husband should proceed? In fact, this is exactly what happened. His wife did return home and confess, and she did beg him for forgiveness, with a sincere promise that she would never, ever do anything like that again. Well, does that change the advice you would offer our betrayed husband? Should he give her another chance? 
should he try to work with her and seek marriage counseling and healing and reconciliation. So I ask again, what advice would you offer our betrayed husband and why? And what would you do in this situation if it were you who were betrayed? Leave your thoughts below in the comments section and be sure to subscribe now to receive our next video releases related to dating, relationships, and personal growth. You'll be glad you did. We thank you for joining us today, and as we bid you farewell, we remind you that you are absolutely fabulous, and yes, you are loved.